Leaving off from that last lesson, we have a file in here that we've accidentally deleted called firstpush.txt. In the last lesson, we staged that file and then we unstaged that file so we don't accidentally commit it. But now let's say we accidentally deleted this file for whatever reason, and it doesn't really matter how or who did it, but we, we need to undo this delete. Now without git, most of your files will end up in your computer's trash folder. Or if you do it from the command line and you do rm, first push.txt, now I've already done this a couple of videos ago, that's why the file is deleted, but this might not be in your trash, so it's technically gone forever. The nice thing about git is we can actually bring this back. All we have to do is type git checkout, and it actually tells us up here that we can do git checkout dash dash file to discard changes working in our directory. So we can do git checkout dash dash first push.txt and git status. Look at that. Now, if I do ls dash la, my file exists again. So I can do this once more as, as a faster example. We can do rm first push.txt git status. It says I've deleted the file, but I want to undo that. If I do ls dash la, we can see the file no longer exists. And with git checkout dash dash, and then the file name that was deleted, push.txt git status. It's no longer in there. It's not ready to be staged. It's not currently unstaged. There's currently no changes. Now if I do ls dash la, it brought my file back from the dead. Now that is how we bring a file back using git checkout. Git checkout is also used for other things. We're going to explore that option a little bit down the road as well. But if you ever accidentally delete a file, if you're using git and you have a previously saved version of that file in a commit, then all it's going to do is bring it back from that last commit. So when we said git checkout dash dash first push.txt, all it's saying was, hey, on file, I know you've got three commits. That last commit was this one here, and this was the contents. This is what was inside that file. So I know that because I have that in my history. I'm, I'm git, I'm the all-knowing, all-knowing file master. And so because you already have this, I'm just going to give you whatever you had before. And so that's what Git did. Git said, hey, you wanted to bring that file back? I've got a copy of that from your last commit. And now you're able to revive files from the dead using Git. Now I use this even if I don't have a Git repository set up on GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. I use this even when I'm just testing things out on a local project, or I just want to uh, try to break some code and you know I want to be able to undo a bunch of work. I will simply set up Git in a repository on my computer by typing git init, and that will set up a new git repository for me. And then I can do the git add, I can do git commit, git checkout, I can do all that stuff. And it does not necessarily have to go up to GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. So that was your little crash course on the git checkout feature that we have available to us. Again, checkout can be used for something else. We'll talk about that down the road. But let's start diving into something that's a little less file-based and a little more git-based.